I started in this program and realized along the way that your professors really look out for you and they're advocates for you both in the classroom and outside of the classroom. I made a lot of lifelong connections with my professors and one of them actually led to an internship at Sabre, which is the leading technology travel company. Uh, and doing this internship made me realize that that is the path that I want to pursue. And if it weren't for my professors here, I don't think I would have realized how strong my skills were in that kind of environment. A couple of things that I do in my class to overcome the misconceptions uh, that people have to make them better designers and future design leaders is that we really talk about problem solving and user experience design uh, is at the forefront. It's a problem solving technique. We also talk about the importance of research and in my classes I talk about the difference between market research and user research and we get involved in deep, deep user research. People will get on teams, they'll actually build products, and that design research informs their product development. Now, I want to make sure that the teams that are in these classes are very well rounded so that they're integrating different perspectives from the business, from user research, from design. That's important because once you get and move from campus to career, that's the way it's going to be out in the real world. So my first revelation coming to, to UNT and doing the interaction design program was the design comes after the strategy. The strategy influences the design. And then the second revelation that I had was we started to do service design, which was kind of a light switch. It seems really obvious. Of course you design services for people, but it had just never crossed my mind. You know, what does a restaurant process look like? What is the waiter's process of serving someone look like? What does the checkout process look like at a Target or a Walmart? That kind of thinking is what really changed my mind on how big of a scope interaction design really is. So about 10 years ago, organizations in DFW began scooping up designers sort of left and right, and they didn't have a deep strategy on why they needed designers. They understood that design's valuable, there was the design value index that came out around that time period that said that design-centric organizations perform better than non-design-centric organizations. And so naturally, organizations want to, want to take advantage of that. It was a smart move, even if they didn't understand fully why, but designers are valuable and change the face of this because they understand what do users want? They understand from an empathetic perspective, a deep human perspective of what do people want and how can we generate value for them. And I think a lot of organizations, even if they didn't understand the deep why, they were very smart for doing this because when you build things that people love, of course they naturally are going to purchase those, those products. I like to talk about design thinking. A big aspect of design thinking is getting other different people's opinions. If you have a team or a team of students working on a project, that come from various backgrounds, have had various life experiences, that opens the door to so many more uh, possible solutions and aspects of understanding your user. Well, I would say one of the big aha moments for me was just the idea of idea exchange. Like real successful design is actually inclusion of everyone in that process. Whether it's user interviews, including the stakeholders, and research, researching what else is out there. Uh, over the past 10 years, one of the things that really excites me is that design research has really been something that companies have started to embrace, and they're doing it for a couple of reasons. The first reason that design research is being embraced is it informs all of the design decisions that companies want to make as they're trying to build transformational products and experiences for people. The second reason that companies have started to embrace design research is it really helps to build a lot of collaboration between teams uh, all across the globe. When I was a young designer, I thought that making something look good also meant that there was depth and, and quality of research to it. I came to learn that just because I used the right fonts and it adhered to a grid system and the like 
didn't necessarily mean that the quality of the research was there. I'll give you an example. Personas are a common artifact that are created and are used by businesses to help understand users. Unless the deep research in how the user actually thinks, what the user is motivated by, what are their behaviors, what, what are things that they may not even be able to express themselves that you've noticed because of your level of intuition and instincts, that you are, you're surfacing unarticulated needs. That's the kind of personas that are valuable. So one of the projects that I worked on uh, this past semester was a project with Sam's Club, creating a service design blueprint for the checkout process. And through it, we were able to look through the eyes of many different personas or customers of Sam's Club. And I realized throughout it that it was a very empathetic experience where I placed myself in the shoes of customers, be it anywhere from uh, a woman with two kids and a newborn or a senior who is shopping for her grandchildren. There were a lot of different uh, customers that we had to think about and include in the project. I believe that design leaders should build future design leaders. And that's what we're doing in this program. So when people come into the program, we don't refer to them as students. They are young professionals. And we are quickly trying to move them from campus to career. And we're not teaching you something that you're going to use a quarter from now or a year from now. We're building you up to be a future design leader because you can make the world a better place and be the best person you possibly can be.